My name is Sean Sekanovsky. I am a endurance cyclist. I'm also a pioneer of the ketogenic movement in the cycling world. I've been practicing the ketogenic diet, which is effectively a high fat, low if no carbohydrate diet for the past 10 years. The ketogenic diet simplifies everything. And why do I say that? A standard or conventional carb or glycogen burner will have the requirement to refuel in order to ensure that their glycogen stores are maintained during their um, sporting event. If you are properly fat adapted, your requirements to take on board um, calories or additional fuel becomes less and less and less. Uh, so much so for somebody like myself, I successfully ride at a pace for seven hours and not have the requirements or the needs to take on board uh, um, fuel because I simply don't get hungry and I simply don't run out of energy to push out the power. Ensure that you have enough calories um, taken the, the evening before or, during, or in the morning. Ensure that you get enough electrolytes, enough sodium, enough pot potassium, and of course magnesium. Um, I like to implement Himalayan rock salt in, in my diet and I take a tremendous amount. That's my personal requirements. Um, on average, a person can lose a teaspoon or even more per hour whilst riding. So ensure that you have electro electrolyte replacement, sodium replacement. That is probably the most important tip that I can offer you. And of course, ensure that you stay hydrated and not to overhydrate. Drink to thirst. That's very, very important. The Toyota gaming engine has created a e-cycling competition regardless if you can't get out there you can actually do it indoors um, to uh, keep fit and also to compete at the highest level.